on the lunar surface, you have the ability to gather samples that can tell us so much about the origins of our solar system. And the samples returned gave us that information. That was what Apollo 14 did that was so trailblazing. Looks good here, flight, good agreement. They continue to believe that this mission might never get started, and Mission Control was pretty convinced it wouldn't either. First attempt, Doc couldn't get a hard dock. Second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt, fifth, and a sixth attempt. Two hours. But it's that spirit in Mission Control, in the crew, the faith and the confidence in their training, and they're able to work together as a team to really, to get that mission going. I believe I got a hard dock, Ethan. Roger, Al. That's great. Super job, Stu. Uh, this is really a wild place up here. In the aftermath of Apollo 13, nothing was taken for granted. It took a lot of work back home to really reprogram that software, to really understand what had happened there. We're on the surface. Okay, we made a good landing. That was a beautiful one. We landed the slope, but other than that, we're in great shape yep. right on the landing site. Looks like you're about on the bottom step and on the surface. Fed for it, old man. Hamill's on the surface, and it's been a long way, but we're here. Apollo 14 was an incredibly ambitious scientific mission. One of the things they had with them that was incredibly important was something called the Met or the rickshaw. Basically a cart, a cart intended to carry both those scientific experiments, those payloads, but also to return those lunar samples. And so that allowed that crew to travel further from the, from the lander than any crew had previously. We're gonna go a pretty steep slope here. We got a ways to go yet. Like any good navigator, the astronauts brought with them the maps that they needed. But there was a problem with these maps. These maps had been shot from the air. And on the ground, that lunar landscape looked quite a bit different. Nothing like being up to your armpits in lunar dust. They found themselves in valleys that were deeper than they thought. They found themselves working up hills that were higher. This was an exploration at its finest. Well, I'm gonna try a little sand trap shot here. The samples returned from Apollo 14 were incredibly important. They told us so much about the formation of the solar system, so much about the material that makes up the moon. Okay, our shit will do a loop. Okay, make it smooth. And around we go. Go us off style. The return trip to Earth was a time to rest, a time to reflect, but also a time to continue science. A major portion of that journey home was conducting microgravity science, something that today we do on the International Space Station every day. That was a really a new way to think about what would the value of space be. Apollo 14 achieved all the science that it had hoped to achieve, and it pressed the boundaries of space exploration in ways that future crews would build upon. And as we prepare to go back to the moon, uh, we definitely follow in the footsteps of these brave crews that went before us and build upon the scientific information that they returned.